Well, today is the big day. Welcome to the channel. And today, we're gonna be installing the Southern Style Off-Road Full Tube Bumper for my 2019 Tyranny Pro Tacoma. It has been a long wait, and I'm very excited to get this thing rocking and rolling. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get into an install video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get this. All right, guys, so what we've got here is our first cut that we need to do. And per SSO's instructions, I have laid out my tape, and I've maxed it to match this lip right here. And when you get down here, I've left about, as they say, a quarter of an inch to this reveal line right here. And then on the side, I've left a, a lip, no specific dimension, um, just eye it up. I've left the lip here. And then the rest, you will just cut along this reveal line right here. And that is your first cut to install a stage two SSO bumper. So the tool I'm going to be using is just a standard you know, Harbor Freight Dremel with a cutoff wheel. Um, seems about the most accurate way to make your cuts as far as I've seen. So let's see how this works out. All right, there's one step you guys are gonna have to do when you finish making your first cut. It's just gonna be two bolts underneath your first piece that you're cutting off that you're gonna have to take off. Your piece is just not gonna drop out. At least mine didn't. You're gonna have to take those two screws out to get this piece out completely. So the next step for your stage two portion of the install is going to be lining your tape. Your first tape line is going to line up with the corner of the fender and follow this reveal line right here at the top and that is gonna be your point of measurement. So your first measurement you're gonna to wanna to do is go two inches from this seam right here to the corner of the edge that you've already cut. The next one over, which I put tape to kinda of line me up better. So the next one you're gonna measure down from the top of your reveal line with your masking tape down the edge of your fog light. And that is gonna be nine inches. And then the next one is gonna be eight and three eighths, and that one's gonna be your next seam over from that. Come down, measure eight and three eighths from the top of your masking tape up here. And the next one is gonna be seven and seven eighths, and that one is gonna be from the same thing, top of your masking tape, all the way down, make your mark. And the last one is gonna be two inches from the center of your bolt your fender uh, liner bolt. You're gonna measure that down two inches, make your mark, and that should be good for your marks for your stage two. So now, once you're done cutting, should get it somewhat looking like this. And now all you're gonna do is just clean it up with a file, draw on your edge trim, and then take your crash bar off and start mounting your bumper. And these cuts right here are probably the most important because you can't cover this up. So this is just gonna be right on take your time doing it and I did the best I could so okay so now at this point you need to take your crash bar off I've already taken mine off but I'll show you what needs to come off so you will have two nuts on the outer edge of the, of the crash bar and then one inside which you'll have to stick your hand either down into the engine bay to get or if I got mine from down here um, and the same thing on the other side. And then there's two 17 millimeter bolts 
for your factory tow hook. It kind of looks like this. And that will come off. And then you have to t remove two 17 millimeter bolts on either side. So there'll be one right here for this guy. And then one on the other side. This guy. And then from there, we can move on to the next step. So here is my tube bumper. And I'm just going to show you what setup I am running and how briefly how I mounted everything inside the bumper. I am currently running a worn Evo 10 synthetic line. And this guy just bolts in using your bolts that you got with the worn winch. There's four holes in this slot here. These two guys are pretty easy. However, I used this applied hardware with the, the winch and I had to grind down the two front ones just to get them to fit inside there because you don't have at all play. The bolts are too long um, to get those in. So once you get that thing mounted in, I'm using a Heretic Studios 30 inch light bar. And I ended up getting the Baja Designs 30 inch cut for the Southern Style off-road bumper. And thankfully, I was able to get that to work with the bumper. So excited about that. Um, the guys at Heretech, are, they're great. Make great products to support. They were right there for me. And uh, I'm excited to see how this thing, this thing runs. So another thing I need to point out is that the control box for the winch, you need to remove. Now, depending on which winch you're gonna run, uh, I think it's gonna be the same thing for any winch uh, with this bumper. So as far as I know, I had to I have to remove this box and I'm gonna mount it uh, probably on the radiator support. So I'm probably gonna use those two holes there and mount that in here somewhere. Let's see if I can get down in there somewhere in here, you know, to get that mounted in there. Okay, so what you guys are going to have to do is mount your witch box somewhere in here. And the way I was able to do it is use one of the brackets I actually got with the light bar that I was not using. Ended up screwing it down to my radiator support right here. And just mounting it to the back of the box. So somehow you're going to have to relocate this, unfortunately. And... There's really not much you can do where to put it other than basically right on that radio support. If you guys come up with a better idea, let me know. But that's how you guys are going to mount that. You guys, what's up? Now that it's the next day and we have some daylight and it's not raining anymore, we can kind of go over the final install. It looks, it just looks great. If you guys take your time, you know, take your time cutting, be safe doing it. You're gonna have flawless results. These bumpers are amazing quality. Um, I can't thank them anything more or anything better. It, it's just, fits great. Just follow the directions, take your time. And do not forget to like and subscribe because there are tons of more content coming. We have truck content, we have Corvette content, we have cars content, we have adventures coming. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.